Hey guys, Dov260Z here, and for all you new viewers, this channel is all about the meticulous nut and bolt restoration of a true JDM icon, and that's my old 1977 Datsun 260Z. Don't worry, this isn't going to be some boring old concourse restoration. I plan on modifying the hell out of this car, and I really want to keep it old school, old school 70s JDM cool. And don't you worry, it's definitely going to have some power to back it up. Alright, so if you're new to the channel, as you just saw with that little montage, this build is already well and truly underway. I've actually been working on the car for the last five years, and I think I'm about halfway done by now. And if you're a returning viewer, you're probably a little bit confused by now. Don't worry, we're going to return to the scheduled programming in no time. I wasn't really happy with the first three to four videos that I uploaded about this build, so I'm kind of combining them all into one video, and that's this video right here. But anyway, let's throw this back to five years ago to when I first bought the Z. Now, I'm going to show a few photos in the slideshow. Bear with me, I know everybody hates slideshows, so do I. I didn't have video footage back then, so cut me some slack. I'm going to narrate it, which is going to be really weird for me, but let's get through that, and then we'll get back to the build with all the video footage, and you can see how I turn this Datsun, this rust bucket, into a real head turner and a real showstopper. I bought the Z about two years ago. When I went to look at it, the car had a fresh paint job. But as you can see, it had been sitting in the shed for a very long time. I dragged it out of the shed and dusted it off, and on closer inspection of the paint, I noticed it had crow's feet all through it. It also had rust bubbles coming through the dog legs. Like most Zeds, this was a bog and flog job. I realised from the start, I would have to strip it back to bare metal for a full respray. I took her home, and I started the tear down. And one night while working in the engine bay, I actually caught my jumper on the grill mounting bracket and I ripped it right off, bringing a decent chunk of bog with it. So I busted out the grinder and I did some exploring. And the next bunch of photos will show the rust I found and how I fixed it.
Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, been away for a while, but uh, time to get back on the Z. And I'll be working on this rear hatch here. Specifically, down the bottom lip, there's a bit of rust. Down here. So I'm going to clean this up. Cut it out and repair that. And once that's done, we can uh, start working on the hinge area. Alright, so I've ground out all the rust and I've started making the patch. As you can see, I've just got a bit of off-cut steel and chisel and a hammer. And I've decided to do it this way. Before I do any cutting, I'll beat the metal into the, into the rough shape that I need it. There's a couple of skins in metal there, so shouldn't do any damage to this channel. It's pretty thick. I've had to make a relief cut there to get that curve and I'll re-weld that up. And it's pretty close. Now I just, I've marked the bottom lip, I'll cut that off, give it another couple of beats, weld that up clean it up and then I can uh, start cutting out the rust that's underneath it. And here's the uh, finished product after I've hit it with some primer. So all the rust from the hatch area is now gone. We can move on to the next part. Poi, was that a trip down memory lane? Me without a beard, just a little bit weird. But anyway guys, if you liked the video, 
There's much more where that came from. Plenty more videos tackling all the other rust areas of the car, stitch welding the frame rails, getting it sandblasted, painted, and I've already started rebuilding and reinstalling everything. So if you enjoyed that, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe to the channel. And I'd really love if you guys could comment down below. Um, the comments really, really keep me motivated and help me keep going with the build. Whenever I'm feeling like I don't want to do any work, I read all the kind comments you guys give and it really kicks me up the backside to get back in the garage and to keep working on the car. Now, what power plan am I going to go in this thing? I've got, I've got two mindsets on this. I'm either going to go on L28, which I have at Dad's place, and I'm going to stroke it and run six 42mm Makumi carburetors off a Honda Blackbird motorbike. So that'll be pretty trick. Then again, I'm a mechanic and all the boys at work are really grilling me to just go old school V8. So I am maybe thinking about putting a 327 Chevy in it. But I still haven't decided on that. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Plenty more videos where that come from. I apologise in advance for the next two videos. So the next one you want to be looking for is video four and video five. They're still really, really old. I'm not entirely happy with how I edited them, but persevere for them. It only gets much, much better from here. I bought a new GoPro, and I think the quality of the build and the channel has gone up a lot with my editing as well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.